Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and today we're going to use this. Yes, we're going to be using that. That is a book cover guide. It is the AliExpress one. So I want to give you a good view of that. It is thick steel. I don't know if that's even showing. I promise you that's thick steel. There you go. The measurements are accurate and I can prove that with my ruler. So you've got that three, I think it's a three inch guide into there, but you can see I've got my ruler on there. It's, let's get that straight. There you go. You've got the two inches, right? These are less than $3, an absolute bargain and they are really useful. So today I'm going to show you how to use it. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had coffee. So I'm going to show you how to use it without having had a coffee. But I want to make a three uh, inch mini album. I'm just going to be doing the covers to show you how it, how it works. And I've got a two inch spine. So I wanted it short and chunky. So that's three by three, each of those. And that is two by three. I've got a sheet of very sparkly, can you see that, yellow paper. It's a lovely sort of honey colour, but it might show real bright when I put it down, I don't know. It's sparkly on that side and it is plain on that side. And that is the side that I'm preferring to use. Now this is 5 by 12 and I've tried to cut stuff so that, you know, um, it's fitting within the camera and you can get a good look at it. So what is the first thing you do? Well, you're going to need a bone folder. You're going to need a pencil. You're going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to need a craft knife. You're also going to need some glue or some adhesive tape. I'm going to be using glue. Right, so let's get started. Now you don't have to use a pencil if you don't want to, but it may be necessary if you're using a 12 inch sheet of paper, which may be longer than the mini album that you're making. Right, so the first thing you do is you pop your paper down and you get your guide and you pop your guide right up straight to the edge of your paper. Now you can see it's straight there. I'm looking up here and it's straight here. So you go in with your first cover and your first cover is going to slot in just like that. So we've left our guide on there. It's nice and heavy. So unless you, you know, purposefully push it, it's not going to go anywhere. So I'm going in with some glue. And I'm going to pop down my first cover. This is so quick and so easy. Now, I did just move that, so I'm going to straighten it up again. I've still got some time to move my cover. There we go. So that is our first cover down. And if I pick that up, you can see it's got a lovely straight border all the way around it. The next thing you do, of course, is you need your spine. So now you take your tool from that position to that position. And I'll need to slide my paper down for this. I do apologize. And you just, I'll move my goo. There we go. And you just push it up and you do it like this so that you've got a lovely space. And that is the space that's going to allow your covers to come up and fold. So I've got a load of stuff on my desk at the moment that I've been playing with. So I should have tidied up, but that's my fault. And if you take your spine now, you can butt that into there and it's going to go down completely straight and aligned with your first cover. So I'm going to put some glue down again. I'm going to pop the guide down flush with my cover and now I'm going to put my spine in. Nice and straight. And now we have to use this one again. So this now has to go into here so that you get your other cover on and I'm just sliding across once again. So I hope you can see that. 
it is really quick so we get our cover and we're going to put some glue on and if anybody's going to ask me where I've got my cutting mat from I got it from my Tuesday morning before it shut down years ago so at least it feels like years ago now so now we've got all of our covers down I'm just picking this up from here there we go and you might be looking at that and thinking what on earth but you know don't don't think what on earth because that is now your book you're then going to go into your corner like that and you need to measure the width so we're going down here with a pencil I'm going to chop that off with my scissors now this side is already accurate because we'd already butted this here but it's a 12 inch sheet of paper so we've got that there so I'm, I just need to trim that edge off so I'm just going up with my scissors you can do this with um, a guillotine if you want to entirely up to you don't worry about pencil lines because they will be hidden and now I'm going to flip it over because I've got a higher border up here than I have here and this may look uneven on camera it's just that my camera's lens is very wobbly so now we need to find the same amount up here so we're just going to go along here with the pencil and then you can just spin it around onto here and then we're going to go along here and we're just going to cut that off I mean you've got a little gap but you know that's relatively easy to find with these scissors so now we're just going to go along our pencil line again and I hope I've got my camera dropped down enough so that you're getting a good close view I might be being a bit wobbly with my scissors because I can't actually see at the angle that I film yeah I know I should do something about that and I may be a little bit off but that doesn't matter so now we've got even borders all the way around our book so the next thing you need to do is make an edge that you can actually tuck in I'm just putting a pin back in my glue bottle so now you take your guide and you pop it no I've got to flip that haven't I <laughs> you take your guide and you pop it onto your corners like that and I'm not going to use a pencil I'm just going to use my craft knife and you just remove it that simple and then just go to all of your corners and do the exact same thing I don't think I pushed down hard enough there I'm always really cautious whenever I'm cutting towards me I think that's really important actually right so now we look like that there and we're going to do the other side exactly the same so we're just going to pop that onto there and cut that off and then I'm going to pop that to there now you can if you want to flip it that way so you can totally you know get things where you want them and then I'm going to cut that one off there so now we're looking exactly the same all over so what I'd do at this stage is I would bend that up just so I know that I've got my guidelines in place and just bend that up straighten that up a little bit there we go so you kind of get to see that you've got your book so now what we have to do is we have to fold these in so I'm just going to put the lid on my cutting tool there 
and I'm going to put glue so I'm going to put my glue all the way along the edge of my board and also the corner and the edge of my paper and then the easy way to do this is to pick it up and stand it on end so you're just going to quite literally do that onto your table and roll it down right extreme humidity here so it might take a few seconds but of course that glue is still better than my Dollar Tree glue so and then we're going to do exactly the same on the other side I'll just keep going back and pressing this so along the edge of your board up your edges and along the edge if you want to use more glue or tape that's entirely up to you and then once again I'm going to pick it up on its edge like that and just fold it right over I'm going to give it a smooth and then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to hold it flat try to get a good bond And then before I stick my ends, I'm going to flip that towards myself and I'm going to get my bone folder. Use the smooth side, not the pointy side because you don't want to sort of like puncture through because we're using chipboard. It would be a lot different if you were using um, a heavyweight cardstock as opposed to chipboard. But you want to give yourself just a nice edge, just burnish it gently, just enough to stretch the fibres but not to tear your paper so that you've got that lovely emboss now and I've got a bit of glue sticking up I think now that should bend and then we're going to bend again and then for these bits on the inside just gently take the end and burnish again just to make it nice and neat and then all that's left to do is exactly the same as what we did along the long edges and that is to get a bit of glue there, a bit of glue here and a bit of glue here and then just pick it up, put it on an end, force your end down now I've got to turn this away from the camera, there we go, otherwise I would have hit it and then you will see little pieces like that you can tuck them in if you want but I'm going to show you you can just snip them off and then we're going to put that flat like that I've got glue all over my hands so smooth it down so that it's good good to go I'll show you how I snip it off in a minute let's get this one done going to do exactly the same here just go along the edge of your chipboard and then along here I'm going to pick it up I'm going to try and avoid the camera and I'm going to squish it flat once again give that a press and then I'm going to turn it over now I'm just going to grab my scissors make sure that's sticking down and I'm just going to take those tiny little edges off it's just one of those things that you don't want to see sticking out if you know what I mean, there you go just snip them off flip it towards yourself just trim it if you're using a solid cardstock this is easier obviously if you're using a white core cardstock um, I would recommend you just press them in and glue over because you don't want to see any white core 
uh, coming through and spoiling your finish now of course then the next thing that you would do which is what I'm not doing because I've showed you how to do the covers is you would cut a piece to go here to hide your chipboard and the measurements for your three by two by three that's the two inch spine by the way um, you'd need to cut a piece what seven and a half inches by two and a half inches a strip of card to go along there but look how easy that was you've got a mini book look how chunky I think that's lovely and it looks really nice on the outside obviously not so nice on the inside but I'll tell you what I'm gonna go and grab a sheet of card and and I'm gonna cut it out so that I've finished it properly I'll be right back right so I've been and cut my sheet of card and this is seven and a half by two and a half and it's a fruity piece from uh, the creative path and I hope that I'm getting this on straight feels to go about there I think if it's not straight you'll have to forgive me but you bond that down and then you'll take the broad side of your bone folder again and just very gently find that line and stretch your fibres in your paper I'm doing this really softly because of course the glue is still a bit damp under there and then if you want to go you know bits of ribbons or lace or what have you and there you have it see that's not dry yet so that's that's poking up in the air but it's decorated on the inside I just absolutely love that see humidity I don't know how long that's going to take to uh, I'm going to pause and let that dry I'll be right back right I'm hoping that it's dry although I've got the feeling my glue isn't completely dry because as I said we've got extreme humidity here I'm not going to complain because we've had rain and we needed it but there is the little decorated inside of your mini book you can see that you can see that it's all really nice and tidy see I've still got a bit of paper pulling away because the glue's not dry but I absolutely love that and this is the first one that I made and this one is bigger this one is four four inches by a two inch spine again and of course I didn't glue my paper in the right way around but I just wanted to show you just how quick and simple it is to use that tool it's just really really great and it also comes with this guide here so that you can punch a hole um, into your covers so all you have to do is butt that up flush pierce a hole and then turn it around and do exactly the same thing down here and you can thread your elastic or what have you to flip over and hold that closed or you can just use it to punch holes here and you know those um, shoelaces you get that are magnetic now you can use shoelaces to hold your, your mini album together you can hold your little book together with whatever you want but I just wanted to share that because it's just so quick and so easy excellent quality and less than three dollars right I thank you so much for joining me today I am going to be up with some awesome stuff tomorrow that's all I'm going to say and as usual all links below bye